Now the first one, what we do is a stop clock. This starts the clock in the beginning of the game. You usually have a jump ball or when the ball's going out of bounds uh, after a first timeout or a foul, the referee will have his hand up, look at the clock, put his hand down to start. The clock starts. This here is stop clock. If you hear a whistle, again, look up at the ref so you know what's going on. You don't want to keep playing stop clock. That means there's a timeout. Next will be a whistle. When two people tie a basketball up, they're both grabbing on the ground for it, you hear a whistle. Back in the day, they used to have a jump ball. Nowadays, if there's a jump ball or the ball gets tapped out of bounds by both players, you'll hear the whistle and that'll be uh, no jump. And we look at the possession arrow. Whoever got the ball at the jump ball, the other person, the opposing team gets the ball at the first jump ball. So it kind of goes back and forth and it changes at halftime. Next, what we're looking at is uh, stop the clock. So you hear the whistle, they look at the time clock and they say stop the clock and they do what they have to do, either a timeout or somebody has to tie their shoe. Again, when you hear the whistle, look at the referee. He'll give you that stop clock. You'll know what's going on in the game without knowing all the rules. Um, next one would be uh, a foul. The hand goes up on a foul. This is the old style called bird dog. So the referee will point at the player, but now they've changed rules the last few years. They blow the whistle, the hand just goes up. And they look at the player, they'll tell you the foul number four, black or four red, there's your foul. Next one would be a uh, five seconds. Pay attention to this. When a referee gives the ball to you to take the ball out, okay, the game starts, it was out of bounds, you only have five seconds. He'll give you the ball, you have to find somebody to throw the ball into. Hopefully your players are cutting and trying to get open. So the referee will give you the ball, he'll start counting one to himself. If you're watching him, you see him getting close to five, you better call a timeout. Call a timeout, regroup. Get the ball in before five. Otherwise, he blows a whistle. The other team gets the basketball back. So pay attention to that. You want to get the ball in within five seconds. This is what a ref will point at a spot. Out of bounds. Out of bounds here. Okay? Out of bounds here. Next one I have is going to be, excuse me, it's a little bit windy today. Next one I have is, uh, we talked about the spot. Also a count. If a player is in the basketball, the imaginary key here, if you're in the basketball key as an offensive player, you only have five seconds, uh, three seconds in here. The referee will be counting as you're in there. If he gets the three and nobody's shot and you're in here, that's a three second violation on the offensive team, on the player in here, the other team gets the basketball. So you only have three seconds in there. Probably should we talk about later, getting out, try to get open cut, make sure you step out. We'll talk about that in another session. Now, when a referee substitutes, you're gonna be sitting on the sideline waiting to get in the game. Stay low, stay below the table of the scorekeeper. You don't wanna be in their way, they're trying to see the game. The referee will blow the whistle, he'll call you in. Come on in, come on in. You find out who which player, the player you're replacing, say, who are you guarding? Oh, you got number four, thank you. So make sure you communicate when you go into the game. You don't wanna be lost and have no player to guard. It'd be a big problem. Now this one here is a 60 second timeout. They'll blow the whistle. 60 second timeout. So that's what that one's for. You get 60 seconds. All right, if somebody's not guarding a player close, if I have the ball and somebody's guarding me close, let's say this is a player here, and I'm doing nothing, trying to find someone open, in five seconds, the referee's counting one, two, three, 
four, five, jump ball. You just lost the ball. Go get them to the other team. Or if I'm stepped back farther and the player's nowhere near me, I can hang out here and just dribble, waste time for five seconds, and the referee go like this. Nobody's guarding him. I can't start the clock. If you want me to start the clock and count, go ahead, guard him, get closer. If not, the referee goes like this, no closely guarding, okay? So if you see that and you're behind, go to the player, guard him. Try to draw a foul, whatever you need to do to win the game. Next one is no basket. Let's say the referee sees you go up for a shot and he calls a traveling. He blows the whistle and the basket goes in. He'll say no basket. He traveled first. No basket. That's what that means. So if you look around, what happened? If you see him go like that, there was no basket. He'll probably blow a whistle and there'd be a violation. All right. Next one is, you know, pay attention, how many numbers? I don't want to lose you. Parents, this is important for you guys and parents to learn the rules to help your kids, your children understand, our players understand better. I think that's something we really need to push is the rules and regs, rules and regulations of the game. Uh, this one here, when they get the bat, let's say the person gets fouled, shoots, the ball goes in, the referee will go like this. Basket counts. Basket counts. So when you see that and your kid shoots and you hear a whistle, you'll know what's going on, parents. Basket counts. Either get the three points and they'll probably end up on the free throw line. How much time? Eight. It's been on eight minutes? Okay. A couple more and we're done. Attempt the three-point line. If they're behind the three-point to shoot, they're behind the three-point, the referee go like this, okay? If they make it, they're going to get three points. If you step on the line, it's not three points. But if you shoot and attempt to make it, they'll go like this, three. And then the referees will raise their hand up. That means you get three points. Again, play smarter basketball. I hope you enjoyed this video on refereeing uh, from all levels. We'll bring some more to you. There's about another 30 more, 35 more. Appreciate your patience. Have a great day. Work hard. Study the rules. Play smarter basketball. We love you guys. Have a great rest of the day. Work hard. Play smarter. Take care.